It looks something like this. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. I have a very fun, very requested video today. You guys have been asking forever to see my closet, so I'm giving you a closet tour and I'm showing you all of my organization. I'm giving you all of my closet organization tips, tricks, and hacks in one video. So let's check it out. This is where the magic happens. Check it out. First drawer up are the socks. I'm very organized, if you didn't already know that. Um, okay, so I, I organize based off what they are. So these are my ankle socks, these are my fuzzy socks, and these are like the little like, what do you call these things, like the footy socks? Like I talked about these in my Amazon favorites video. Guys, these are the best things ever because they're grippy. We have hardwood floors and they help me not slide around on the floor, but I, I just layer them on top because these are the ones that I'm wearing every day. And then I, I tri-folded my tall over the knee socks that I wear with boots in the winter. So that's why those are folded like that. Second drawer down is my bra drawer. So I like to fold, not fold, but lay out my bras like this so they maintain their shape of their cups. And then these over here are the bralettes. And then you can't forget your chicken cutlets as Matt calls them, <laughs> the little stick-ons. Um, my cousin got me these little um, sachet, sachets. What are they called, Sat sachets? Um, how do you pronounce that word? Sachet, sachet, I don't know. Um, but they are scented and I have them in my drawers. And so as soon as I open my drawers, they just smell good. Third drawer down is my undies. Okay, so yes, this is way too many pairs of undies for one person. These are all maternity. I have them sitting here and honestly they need to be packed away because I'm obviously not wearing them. Um, and then these are my ones that I actually wear. Sometimes wear these and then these over here, this is my, my shapewear stuff. And um, these are actually also maternity, well, postpartum that need to be put away as well. And I have the um, sachet. <laughs> Sounds like I'm cussing when I say that word. This, I have this in my drawer, guys. Um, I'm gonna show you really quickly how I fold underwear. Um, so let me find a brand new pair so it's not embarrassing. Okay. So these are, this is a pair that, oh my gosh, Matt got me these for Christmas. I haven't worn these yet, but they're from Lululemon and they're amazing. So this is how I fold my underwear. One, two, three, and then they go down like that. And so they stand up. So when I open my drawer, I can see exactly what underwear I have, what color. It's just, uh, it's like a breath of fresh air when I open my underwear drawer. Bottom drawer is my peaches. That's what we call them in our house, peaches, PJs. So I have them all standing up, as you can see, because that way I can tell exactly what I have in my drawer um, or what I have to wear. So they're not really organized by season or anything like that. They're more just in there however I wanted to put them. But these are nightgowns and then the rest are short. Well, these are all shorts, like short pieces, like a top and bottom of shorts. And then these are all long, pants and long sleeve, and then like I said, night shirts, sleep shirts. I'm gonna show you quickly how I fold my pajamas so that you guys can recreate this if you want them to stand up, but this is just so much nicer than like stacking them, because when you're stacking them, you're having to take them out to see what's underneath of them, but you open your drawer this way and you're able to see exactly what you have. So this is how I fold my pajama bottoms. I fold them over like this so that there's more of a straight leg there, and then half. Then if this is still too wide, I'll do another roll like that. And then I do a, a tri-fold like that. And then it goes directly in my drawer, standing up like that. And I like to tuck it so that it looks perfect. Okay, so for the shirt, I just fold, fold again, and then in half, so it's about the same width as the pants, then in half, and then like this. You can tri-fold if you want, but it's gonna make it shorter than the pants and I want them to stand up at the same height. So that doesn't make sense to do a tri-fold if this is only that high. But yeah, 
So that's how it looks. So these two shelves are the shelves that I can reach the easiest. So I wanted to put things there that I was going to reach for every day. So I did, I organized my jeans by cut and color. Just realized that that makes it sound like diamonds. They're not diamonds, they're jeans. Um, but these are my skinny jeans. And then my boyfriend jeans are actually up high on that side. And then my, like, basically my wide leg slash bell bottoms are hung up. So the one thing that probably dro drives Matt absolutely nuts about me is my jean folding because I cannot not do it. It's the American Eagle fold because I worked there for like six years. So jeans are in half and always the same direction. I always fold with the crotch to the right and bottom of the hem to the top of the jean pocket and then fold it again to the top of the fold to the top of the bean bean oh my gosh jean pocket and that is the american eagle fold and that's how you get that really beautiful store-esque display i do the same with all of my my pants like i fold my sweats my leggings everything that way i just feel like it makes it look really nice with the next shelf up we have my folded sweatpants those are my cozies and then my fancy leggings and my workout leggings and at the very top so this is when I have to get my ladder out, ladder out because I literally I cannot reach up there but it is my sweaters and I color coordinated them from black all the way down to pink but um I just like to walk in and see that rainbow of color I think it's so pretty and I don't know it makes me happy to see how organized and pretty they are and at the very end down there I have my sweatshirts they're kind of lopsided there because um I actually just cleaned some out because I'm I'm donating them but as you can see it just looks really pretty it's visually pleasing so the one thing that I did when I first got this massive closet which is like amazing I just want to say how thankful I am for this closet um is I switched over to velvet hangers and that has been a major issue in my marriage he hates these hangers he has the purple and black and I have the green that's every once in a while a purple one gets thrown in there. But I like it because it really helps maintain the look of shirts specifically. Like they don't, they don't fall off. It's, I just like them so much better. So the way that I have it organized is like I said, my bell bottom jeans are right here. Then it goes to tank tops. So this is all tank tops right here. Then like these are my short sleeved like button up or like nicer shirts. And then these are like what I would consider like my more fancy shirts. And then I have a ton of hangers here because I actually just cleaned out my closet. And then if you go down to the bottom rack, I have all of my shorts on hangers. And I feel like a lot of you guys are probably looking at this and probably thinking like, why the heck are your shorts hanging up? I feel like shorts are one of the most awkward things to fold and they take up so much space. But when they're hung, it's not as much space because what I do is a lot of times I double hang. So I put two shorts that are similar colors on the same hanger. And I feel like it just makes so much more sense for space. And then these down here are all of my casual shirts. And as you can see, they're color coordinated. Everything on hangers is color coordinated with the exception of my dresses over there. And then down here, I have a Hello Gorgeous bin. I think this is so cute. My aunt bought it for me. And I filled it full of t-shirts. And these are just like casual t-shirts that I would wear if I was gonna like I don't know, work out in the yard. Matt's probably laughing behind the camera right now that I even said those words. <laughs> this area is mostly dresses, but from about this point on, this is incoming new clothes that I've gotten that I haven't gotten to wear or style yet for you guys, um, for like Instagram or whatever. Um, but it's, from that point on, it is dresses and they are arranged by long sleeve, short sleeve, maxi, short, and then they're color coordinated from there. So if you look in the back, where here's all of my black short dresses. So that way I know exactly where everything is, except for the incoming stuff, because if I put this with the like items, like if I put a black dress that just came in with a black dress, I'm gonna forget that it came in. So that's why I keep these separate. And then once I do style it, I put it away, um, or if I don't really love it, pass it along to somebody who is gonna love it. Okay, so here is my shoe wall. Um, as you can see, they're mostly all booties or heels. Um, tall boots are down here and under here but my tennis shoes are actually under my bed in like one of those square things. And then I have flats over there, which I'll show that to you in a second. But these are color coordinated and they are grouped mostly by what they are. Um, these are all heels and, and sandals over here. And then these are overflow heels and then down are all booties. And I have them in color order. I, 
I love this. I love being able to walk in and actually see how many shoes I have because every closet that I've ever had before this one, I would have to bring out shoes based off of the season. I would forget what I had, then I wouldn't wear things. So this just makes it really easy for me. Okay, so if you look up here, this is where I keep my heels that I don't wear as often. So I have to get the ladder out to reach them. And then my like snow boots, my Ugg boots, and then it wraps around and those are my purses, my handbags. Um, I really try to use every square inch of our closet and I try to make smart use of it and I try to not keep anything I'm not going to actually wear. So these are the things that have been very um, purposefully kept, I should say. This is where I keep my skirts. Everything is organized here by length and then my color. And then also I have some dress pants in there too. Um, the pants that I don't want to fold because they'll have creases in them. Above this, above my um, skirt rack here is handbags and then um, more handbags. So, um, and then if you come down below all of the skirts down here, I have Matt put together a small shoe rack for me that is to house all of my flats in one place. Um, it just felt like a smart way to actually use this space because it was a big, huge, long thing. And I already have a long thing for dresses. So I was like, okay, what can I do with this space? And it just made sense for us. Okay, so I wanna show you guys my boots. So this is where I store my tall boots, as you can see, but I wanna make sure that they stand up so that they maintain their shape. Cause I hate when they're folded, although I do have two pairs that are folded and those two actually make sense to be folded, but I don't want them to have creases in them. So what I do is I actually save tissue paper from various things, you know, like whenever I buy something, it comes with tissue paper. But what I really do is I roll up magazines. So I stick my rolled up magazines that I'm no longer using all the way down there so it sits at the base. And then I take tissue paper that's left over from packages or whatever. And that way it maintains the shape and it just really holds really nicely. Um, and I feel like it just really keeps my boots looking nicer longer. Um, so these ones are folded because they're a soft leather. So it's not going to really hurt the boot as much as it would with, with like a suede like that. The last section of my closet is right here when you walk in the closet immediately to the left. Um, I thought this was a great place to put my jewelry box. I love this jewelry box because it's white and it's got tons of storage and you can open up the sides and it's got all of the racks here for your um, necklaces and then it's, it's got the slotted drawers in here for your earrings and everything. And the top folds up for rings, but I don't really wear a lot of different rings. I wear the same ones every day, but I got this on Amazon and I think it's a great buy. Um, here, what I did was I put all of my cardigans, button-up shirts, everything's color coordinated. And then these are more like my pullovers, like my cozies. Um, and it's, it's time for me to go through and clean these out again. I just did it not long ago, but it's time again. And then if you look all the way up to the shelf above my button-ups, those are all of my hats and I've stacked them really neatly. And then I, if you go up way to the top, I've got three bins up there and those bins are actually um, scarves. And I can actually, I'm gonna get up there and show you in just a second how I fold my scarves because I think that um, scarves are one of the things that are hard to figure out how to store them because they're so bulky. And I feel like this is like a really nice hack. So I'll show you that in a second. But go down to the bottom here. And these are all of my blazers, my jean jackets, vests. And then these are my workout shorts. Again, I hung my shorts and then my sports bras. So the reason that I hung my sports bras as opposed to lay them out is because they, they just take up so much space. Whereas a bra, like you kind of like, you know what I mean? Like the, the straps in the back, like just all fold in. Whereas a bra, a sports bra, I feel like, um, the, the straps, like if you fold them and everything, they get kinked up, especially if they've got like a molded cup to them. So I just really like the fact that I was able to hang these up. And then down here, I just had a couple of leftover shoe boxes or these are, they're a little bit bigger than shoe boxes, but I had these leftover from my old closet. So I just used them with more workout tank tops and I folded those just like I fold my pajamas really neatly. And then the one above it is, these are tights and pantyhose. And yes, I am a girl who loves to wear pantyhose. I'm like, I'm telling you, I'm from the wrong era. I was supposed to be born in the 1940s, I swear. Or not born in the 40s, but lived, I should have lived in the 40s is what I should say. So I went ahead and got one of my boxes down and this is how I fold my my scarves and I put them in there really snug so that they can't fall out. But as you can see, all I have to do is pull it out and I can see exactly what scarf I have. They're in there so nice, so neat. 
and they, I just feel like this is a really smart way to store them. So if you do have a shelf that you could put like, and I got these bins at Home Goods. So if you have a shelf in your closet somewhere, or maybe even under your bed, if you have a bed that sits up higher, this is a brilliant solution. If you do put it under the bed, make sure you have one that covers to protect from dust. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really, really smart way to store your scarves. This is my closet. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you picked up some good organization tips and tricks and hacks and um, I, this is my happy space. I love my closet and I love having it super organized and walking in and knowing exactly where everything is. Um, if you want any additional tips, tricks, hacks about organization, let me know in the comments below. Um, I got a lot of requests to do a fridge tour after I posted my fridge on Instagram yesterday. So let me know if that's something you guys wanna see on here here on YouTube. Um, and don't forget to visit me on my blog, AngelaLanter.com. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on if you will. All right guys, au revoir.